Wow, this is amazing. Ah, the doctor needs to know of this. Ah, no skates. Chanting won't be is moving around. Serious? Yes. Absolutely nothing about you. Can you remember anything? All right, relax, 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 okay? Keep an eye on her. It's Let me get her. Not sure 
of what is wrong with you. I will run a test on you to ascertain what the problem is. So relax. I will So, Doctor, what do you suggest we do now? I'm as confused as you are. But I will place her on proper medications. Who knows? God might help you. Please, Doctor, do everything within your powers to make sure that she gets back to her feet. Okay? As for the medical bills, I'll take care of it. Please. Okay. She looks familiar though. Yes. She looks like someone I know. What am I even saying? You know I see a lot of faces here. So never mind. It's, it's okay, Doctor. I mean, she might be someone look alike, you know. Anyways, I will do my best. Thank you. Is it? 
You don't know her mother and you want to pick her? Does it really matter? It doesn't matter. We have no option to pick this baby. Please. Please. Oh my God. As much as I have compassion for this baby, I am not in support of your keeping her. Are you aware that ever since this baby came, I have not been sleeping well? I know, sweetheart. What if she's our baby? If she was our baby, you would breastfeed her. She needs breast milk. She needs her mother. Can't you see? I know, but me. You're right. She needs her mother. 
I, I suggest we employ a nanny. You know, nannies have their own ways of taking proper care of babies. Please. Listen, whatever you want to do, do not let this baby stop me again. Oh, I wish I will not, please. She will not. Okay, please. Let's care for this child. They are here. Take them to the study. Thank you, Chief. Sixty seconds. to trash the bin. I saw gloves stained with blood inside the bin. I was curious to know what was going on inside him. Study. My name is Anne. I am your therapist. And I'm here to help you. Okay? Listen, whatever you are passing through is just a phase. It will pass. I'm sure it will pass. So tell me, what is your name? Sorry. Okay. Apart from you not remembering your name, can you remember where you've been? Like, is there any how you can remember where you've been before the accident occurred? No, I don't remember. You don't remember? Like you don't remember you have a child? 
or you're married, you have friends or family, just try. Try to remember. I wish I could say something, but there's nothing to say. Okay. Listen, I know this is going to be very difficult right now. But I want you to calm down. Just relax and think. Like, try to remember something. Think of something. Just try. Take a deep breath. Nothing. It's okay. I so much believe that with your medications and constant therapy, you come around soon. And all be fine, okay? same day. Chief. Clear the study. Get the car ready. You know what to do. Yes, Chief. She does not remember anything at all. Then make her remember. That's your job. And I believe you're good at what you do. So please, make her remember. It's going to be very difficult. But I promise I'll do all I can to make her recover. Chief, we have some accident victims here. How many of them? Three of them, Chief. Good. Take them to the study. Thank you, Chief. people into the study but somehow I managed to sneak in what did you see
we are going to discharge you today. What? Where will I go from here? Nadia, that's not going to be a problem. I have taken care of it. I mean, you can stay with me in my house. What? I need to speak with your doctor. Alone. All right, excuse me, doctor. What are you even thinking, doctor? Why would you allow me to stay with him in his house? Well, it's not right. But don't forget, he's the one that brought you here. He might actually be the one that put me in this condition. Yes. Instead of me staying with him, I'd rather stay with you. You're a doctor, and everybody knows that. You will not do anything to sabotage your dignity. So please, I don't even know who that man is. I can't stay with him. Unless I remain in the hospital. Okay. Relax. Okay? Just relax. I will be right back. Um, the doctor told me what you, what you said. There's no problem with that. Uh, I will leave you with my card. You can call me if you need anything. Alright, doctor. One Thank love, my brother. Take care of her. You're a good man. Thank you. One love. Make yourself comfortable. You'll be staying here until we figure out what to do next. All your therapy sections will be conducted here. And tomorrow I will take you shopping so that I can buy you a few clothes and toiletries, okay? So feel free. Meanwhile, um, come let me show you. Yes, yeah, always if you just okay. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Like I said, feel free, okay? Make yourself comfortable. Come back and meet me. 
Okay. Don't worry. I know where to meet you. So why did you do a proper introduction since there was nothing going on between you two? Did you give me breathing space to do that? Did you? Okay, Phil. That's fine. My bag. Who the hell is she? Well, if you must know, she's my patient. Your patient? Since when have you started bringing female patients to this house? What happens to the male ones? I'm not supposed to be explaining myself in my house. Really? Yes. But for formality's sake, I will do this. Okay. That girl is my patient. She is suffering from amnesia. She don't remember things. Okay? She was brought in by a good Samaritan who picked her almost dead. Do you not understand? <laughs> Fear, really? She's suffering from what? Amnesia. Oh, really? Is that the new game? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that an excuse of bringing a girl to your house, telling me that she's suffering from what? You know what? I know you will never believe me. Suit yourself. Phil, I'm not done talking. Come back here. No, no, no. I am not done talking. Really? <laughs> that girl is leaving this house today. Else, hers will roll. Am I not talking to you? Or has your amnesia affected your mouth as well? I came to look forward to eat. I was hungry. Oh, really? You were hungry. And you came to my kitchen to look for what to eat. Now you listen to me. I know your plans. I know this game better than you do. But I promise you, you will not and will not succeed. You will not succeed at all. It's a promise. You came to eat. Rubbish. One more thing. Till you leave this house, you must not, you will not Step beyond that door ever again. Stupid amnesia. Rubbish. Saying Phil brought in a stranger to treat in the house. How? I don't even understand. Honestly, I'm going crazy. I doubt if that girl is even a stranger. She's not. Oh, come on. If she's not a stranger, who is she? She's just a stranger, just like you said. She should be a stranger. 
Because I, if she's not a stranger, then I should know who she is. All right? I strongly believe that the poor girl needs help. She needed help and Phil brought her in to help her. Don't you get it? I say I saw this girl wearing Phil's t-shirt and his boxers in my own house. And you're telling me that he has a reason. Like for real? Please, uh, can, you, can you tell me the truth? Is Phil cheating on me? Oh, come on, Mercy. Come on. To the best of my knowledge, Phil will never cheat on you. Look, I suggest you sit Phil down and talk to him. All right? Talk to him. I believe Phil will explain all these things to you. I just want you to talk to him first. Can you please help me talk to him? But you need to understand that that is your home. All right? Whatever goes wrong, you fix it. You engage your, your fiancé in an in a conversation and you guys sort it out. The picture alone, you, you, you don't understand. The picture alone, I said I saw the girl with my boyfriend's t-shirt in my boyfriend's kitchen. And you're telling me nothing, nothing. It's just a, what kind of patient is that? Relax. Don't let it get to you, come on. That's why you don't want to take anything. You, you are in my house, remember? I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. I'll call for you, don't worry. Okay? I'll call him. Hello, my dear. <sighs> oh, tell me, how are you feeling today? If you were me, how would you feel? Look, I understand how no, you... you don't. You have no slightest idea of how I feel. Do you know how it feels to exist without living? Do you know how it feels not to have any memory of your past life? I don't even know what to do or where to start from. What if my parents are out there looking for me? How would they feel when they hear that their child is missing and I am just here? Just there! I don't even know where I came from. What am I even doing here? How are you going to help me fix this? Not yet. Look, I promise I will do all I can, all I can to help you fix it, okay? All will be fine in no distant time, my dear. It's okay. Yes, hello, Faye. I had a conversation with Mercy just now. She left already. She was complaining bitterly. You brought a certain lady to the house for, for therapy or something. I don't get it. Come on, bro. You don't sound that way now. She, it, it's me she complains to, not people. All I'm saying is that your house is not the hospital. You don't bring people... You don't bring people in and expect her not to feel jealous. She wasn't doing it to spite you. You need to listen to me. Bro, uh, bro calm down now. I get it. I get it. But I feel this is something you need to call her attention to and then 
probably sit her down and discuss it with her. She will probably understand. She will understand. Well, if you leave the conversation open-ended like that, she might just feel something fishy. She doesn't know this lady. She told me she doesn't know the lady. You mustn't explain it. Are you serious? She's living with you. She have every right to get jealous. Please, do explain to her. She will understand, definitely. Come on now. It hasn't gotten to that feel. Just explain to her. All right, bro. I will come over maybe by the weekend. All right, all right. All right, take care. <sighs> Relationship issues. Something very important I want to tell you. And I need you to trust me. Where do I even start? Just go straight to the point. Things are happening in this house. A lot of bad things that you are ignorant of. And on that note, neither you or me are safe. You are not making any points. Okay. Listen. I want you to trust me. Please. I want you to trust everything I am going to tell you. But the most important, Chief Obi Uyamune is not your biological father. What? Shh. Please, lower your voice. You're joking. I'm not. Trust me. We have to leave, and on time. First you tell me my father is not my biological father, and now you say we should leave. Do you want to adopt me? No. Because my parents are rich? Do you want to kidnap me for ransom? No. Why would I do that? I carried you as a baby, nor showed you till this age. I would have done that if I had wanted to. Please trust me, we are not safe. We need to leave on time before it is too late. Please. <laughs> How do you want me to believe what you're telling me? Please, you have to. You're evil. You're evil. No. Have you suddenly got dumb that you no longer speak? Huh? Woman, speak before I behead you!
Cheguei. Cheguei. Take her and lock her up until she's ready to talk. Yes. Yes. Yes, Chief. Now move. That's it. Move. This woman is very crazy. She's mad. you to this house when you were little, when I had you, I had nothing on me, no means to take care of you. If we do not leave this house in less than 48 hours, we might leave as walking cops. Can you hear yourself? Mother, how can you just call me out and tell me you're my mother? How do you even want me to believe you? Why are you even telling me all of this? Nadia, what do you even want me to think? Down. What do you want me to see? Why are you telling me all of this? Nadia, calm down. Take a deep breath. Have you for once thought what goes on in the study? likely to expose us. We are going to pull them down. There's nothing to lose. Rather, we make more money. I think so. Yes. You're right. <laughs> <sighs> My father's house has become a hospital. Mama was right. We're not safe in this house. You're going to kill us all. Why did I not find about this sooner? 
I am going to call the doctor. But first of all, let me get the study ready. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. Excuse me. Nadia, what are you doing here? Dad, you scared me. That does not answer my question. What the hell are you doing here? I'm not your dad. What are you doing here? You're hurting me. I should have known that you're not my dad. This is nothing compared to what I will do to you. Shagay! 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 My chief!
Claudia. Are you, what is it? Are you okay? Are you sure you're fine? Huh? Are you sure you're okay? Calm down, calm, calm down, okay? Welcome to another section of your therapy. So tell me, how are you feeling today? I cannot tell if I'm feeling fine or not. I see things, but they are not very clear. And I cannot figure out what I see. Those things you see, are they in form of humans or objects? I see myself in a deserted place, helpless. And I see a back view of this particular person. But I cannot tell who the person is. Do you think this person might be related to me or maybe I was married? You are beginning to see things. That's a good sign. It shows that you're progressing. Hmm? So, um, I'm happy we're doing a good job. You know what? I'll be right back. Stay in the G for right? Father, King of Glory, I know you are God and you can never allow your daughter to be put to shame. Father, please help me regain my memory. I need to remember everything that I've lost. I need to go back to my family and I need to know what is happening around me, O oh Lord. Hear my prayers and let me regain my memory. This I ask of you in Jesus' name. Amen. I saw dead bodies. I saw dead bodies. I saw, they were dumped there. Some group of people said they were dumped there last night. I think they were used for money rituals. You can imagine the heavy downpour last night. They look like mud. You can't believe they are humans. I saw dead bodies. I can't believe this. I saw dead bodies. Dead bodies. Where? At the junction. At the junction. At the junction. Hi. How are you feeling today? This is the young man that brought you here. His name is Mike. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate what you did for me. You saved a life. I'm very grateful. You don't have to thank me, my dear. All thanks should be to God. I mean, thank God I was passing that day. Aluna Junction is a very bad spot. A very bad junction. I mean, you see all manner of people there. Pocket pickers, um, prostitutes, and robbers. Some days you even see um, cops lying around that junction. But thank God you're fine. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That was the exact place I was picked. Oh my God. Who could have done this? 
All right, it's okay, it's okay. People are bad, people are mean. Omowa, Zubani, Ike. Dead bodies. I think you need water. Calm down, okay? Dead bodies, dead bodies. It's okay. Dead bodies. Okay, okay. Okay, just. Yes. Drink water. And, and, I need water. And, 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 okay? I need water. Hey, hey! Go get me water. Up! Stand up! Go get me water! Stand! Give me water. I need water. I need water. I need what I saw. I need to see myself. Are you okay? No. You can talk to me. Hold on. You, you, you can talk to me, okay? No. Where did you say you, you got this girl from? Where? should stop entering your kitchen. Oh really? I said you should stop entering my kitchen. What are you doing here? To drink water and leave your almighty kitchen. You know, the gods you have makes me believe beyond all reasonable doubts that you are sleeping with my man. Play whatever you like. Excuse me? What did you just say? character. I mean, what did this innocent girl do to you to deserve this? Is she your rival? No. Are you dragging anything with her? No. So why did you do this? Pray she recovers. Just pray she recovers because if anything happens to her, I will so deal with you that she will regret knowing me. But she insulted me. She insulted you and so what? She insulted you and so what? Are you not older than her? Uh, were you not supposed to control your anger? She is younger than you. She should be the one dramatizing, but no, at your age. Yeah, yeah. Let's pray she recovers. Because if anything happens to this baby girl, I swear, I will so deal with you that you will regret knowing me. In our real life. Thank God you made it. 
Are you okay? What am I doing here? Where is my mother? Wow! So you remember your mom? This is good news. Okay, relax. I will be right back, okay? Relax. Are you okay? Just... My name is Nadia. What? You remembered your name? Like you remembered who you are? I do. And Dr. Phil is not who you think he is. about it. First, I need to be assured that I can trust you because now you're the only person I can talk to. Of course, of course, you can trust me. Okay? Come here.
Dr. Phil? Do you mean Dr. Phil did that to you? through all this. Just a few did this to you. And then I promise I'm going to help you get justice. Thank you. He will never get away with that. Okay? Oh, Can you remember the road? How you were dumped on the roadside, like the process. His guards came in and took me that same night. They gave me an overdose of an injection. And they dumped me on the roadside, leaving me to die. I was lucky to have survived. This is pure wickedness. I mean, this is, this is inhuman. Gosh, these men are cannibals. Look, I promise, Dr. Phil will never, ever get away with this. I will help you get justice no matter what it takes. Yes, I need justice. I want Dr. Phil and his cohort to pay for everything they've done. They harvest human parts for money. And they give victims overdose medicine and dump them on the road to die. They even do the same to accident victims. They go to accident scenes and pick up victims. Do the same thing to them too. Can you... Can you take me to the house? Like, can you... Can you take me to the house? That is the problem now. I cannot remember the route to the house. Nadia, you must remember. Okay? It's very important. It's very paramount that you remember. Not now that we are close to the truth. I mean, just think of something. You know, you started remembering things. So definitely, you must remember this. Okay? I... Coach. How did I miss this? To think she has been in my house for the past couple of days. Why didn't I get to know this on time? She would have been dead by now. I would have given her a faster ticket to hellfire. Now she is nowhere to be found. Chief's number ends gold. Wahala day. Wahala day.
not true. I can't believe this. As it is now, my life is in danger. I'm confused as well. I don't know what to do. Can you take me to this house? I mean, can you take me to your father's house? We That's, need to arrest them as well. That is the problem. I don't know the way to that house. I cannot remember anything. <sighs> I have an idea. Alona Junction. Take me to Alona Junction. Yes. Maybe from there, I can start remembering something. I can be familiar with that place. All right, that, that, that won't be a problem. Yes. All right. Yes, go now. She's not yet back. Where could she have gone to? Or do you... Wait a minute. Do you think she would do something stupid? One question at a time. I'm thinking. <sighs> How... How could I have allowed that girl to slip off my hands? Seriously, we need to act fast. Before they report us to the police. You know what that means. familiar with this place? No. I don't remember here. You can't remember anything. This was where I picked you. These people are very wicked. No, don't worry, my dear. Uh, everything is fine now, okay? Please, can you take me around town? All right, that's not a problem. Shall we? Lagos is a big city, you know that. Right. So what are we going to do now? We're going to treat him. You think that will help? Yeah, of course. Even if it means trailing him for one year. First, um, we're going to make a report to the police. We need backup. Okay. And secondly, we're going to follow him everywhere he goes because I am certain he's definitely going to be such a That's a good one. You would have done well in the course. <laughs> My mom will die if she hears that I joined the force. So that is out of it. <laughs> we 
Why is Chief not picking my calls? Why is Chief not picking my calls? I just saw it now. That, 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 that's Dr. Oscar. Yes, just Scott a minute. Scott. He's just here. Minute. Just a minute. He's here. We got to the root of this. He's here. He's here. Get to the root of this. Hello? Doc, I didn't call you. Why have you not been picking my calls, Chief? I sense danger. Danger? Yes. You must remove anything implicating in this house. Why? Our last victim survived. And she's out there. What? You mean Nadia is alive? Yes. God. Tell you. There will be no need for that. Did you bring them here? I never knew they followed me. You thought I was dumb. Well, I'm a smart girl. And I knew what was going on and had to leave. Doctor. She has regained her memory. Yes, Doctor. Look, you are now in a hot soup. You need to act fast. Okay? So, how do we meet right now? Like right now? about Anne. I knew about the call she made. And I knew if I remained in that house, I would be a dead person by now. So I had to run away. Well, today, both of you, all of you involved, your cop is filled. Officers, please do the work. Was my eyes have seen yeah oh. and if you hear what my ears have heard then you will go gaga people killing people I sell what left so gonna stand up and fight people killing people what a wicked world
my son. Thank you so much for saving my daughter's life. I mean, I don't even know where to start. May you never lack. Thank you so much, Mike, for everything you did for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. I am glad I could help. And we have to be happy. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, my sister, yeah, I know where we are. See? 